say that there's no point looking for the bad in people, but I hate it when having done this and having formed an opinion of someone, they do things that piss me off. And such it is with you, Brock. You frequently say things I agree with, because we're both men of reasonable age and experience. You sometimes say things I think are ridiculous, but normally I can see my way to your position. This latest video, however, is monstrously hypocritical and just downright annoying enough that I feel bound to reply. My first problem comes when you start saying that you're not prepared to present evidence to support your position because there's evidence on both sides of the argument and academic stuff doesn't really interest you. This is the worst, most cowardly kind of relativism. I can't believe a man who makes such a big deal about courage and integrity would say things like this and realise what it sounds like. Never, ever have I refused a call to provide evidence to back up my ideas. There may be evidence on both sides of the argument, just like it's claimed that there's evidence on both sides of the 9-11 truth argument, but that doesn't mean that one side isn't wrong and the other right. If you're going to put claims out there, be a man and support them with physical evidence and reasoned logic. The fact that you say that academic argument never yields anything demonstrates an astounding lack of understanding of how things work. How do you think that Kepler's heretical ideas about the Earth orbiting in the Sun became accepted? Because for years, men of integrity plugged away at advocating his ideas, supporting them with physical evidence and reasoned logic, so that other men of integrity would accept them too. And that's what you have to do as well if you want any credibility. If you can't support your ideas, shut the hell up! Your stance on relativism is something I do agree with. Some things are true, others are false. Two mutually conflicting stances are not both true. Relativism of this kind is, and always has been, the coward's way out. The, you can't prove there isn't a god bullcrap that makes an intellectually honest person, an intellectually honest person rather, weep. My second real problem comes when you start talking about evolution and the Bible. You go on your usual completely evidence-free rant about evolution. Fine. You never provide any examples of atheist YouTubers who use emotion to defend evolutionary theory, as you claim. But whatever. That I can just about ignore. There's plenty of worse offenders. But you can't then go on and accuse the atheist community of being ignorant of the Bible without providing any examples either. If you're going to say we're ignorant, demonstrate how. I can provide a trillion examples of theists like yourself, and I believe including yourself, whose understanding of evolution doesn't even make the high school textbook level, and I would love to see you do the same. I'll provide some links to back up that claim, by the way. Brock, as you can tell, you've pissed on my chips. Maybe I'm just in a cantankerous mood tonight, but I really couldn't let this fly. You can't attack relativism with such bile on one video, then a couple later say things like, academic argument never achieves anything, and it's a fundamental disagreement that can't be resolved by evidence, to paraphrase your video from about 1 minute 20 in. Bullshit. Some things you're just wrong about, as am I, and you should have the balls to test your ideas properly. Next time you make some claims, I would really appreciate a cursory attempt at justifying them. Hypocrisy ain't attractive in a man who makes big claims about his own integrity, and I'd really like to go back to respecting you, if not your ideas. I sincerely hope you try harder.